Nick's home was nestled on the edge of a vast forest, surrounded by towering spruce trees and snow-covered peaks. Nick's only other companion was his faithful Labrador, a spirited dog named Dak. One cold winter's evening, as the northern lights danced across the night sky, Nick stepped into his backyard. He had his camera in hand, hoping to capture the ethereal beauty of the Aurora Borealis. But as he peered through the viewfinder, something caught his eye that no camera could truly capture. There, emerging from the shadows of the forest, was a wild wolf. Its coat glistened like silver in the moonlight, and its amber eyes bore the wisdom of countless generations. Nick's heart pounded in his chest as he realized the danger he was in. For despite their incredible beauty, wild wolves were not creatures to be taken lightly. Doc, however, seemed oblivious to the potential threat. With unbridled excitement, he rushed toward the intruder, tail wagging furiously. Nick's heart was in his throat as he braced for the inevitable clash between his loyal companion and the wild predator. But then, something incredible happened. The wolf and the Labrador met not with hostility, but with curiosity. Instead of teeth bared and growls exchanged, they circled each other playfully, like old friends reuniting after a long absence. In that mesmerizing moment, Nick knew he had to capture this extraordinary encounter on film. He carefully steadied his camera, trying to maintain his composure as he filmed the wolf and Doc frolicking in the snow. It was a scene that defied all logic and expectation, a testament to the mysterious ways of nature. Nick soon learned that the wolf was a frequent visitor to his backyard, and he decided to give him a name, Romeo. Romeo became a part of their lives, appearing periodically to play with Doc. But Romeo's affections weren't limited to just one dog. He began visiting other homes in the neighborhood, engaging in playful interactions with the local dogs. The initial fear and apprehension of the townspeople gradually turned into acceptance and even affection for this remarkable wolf. Romeo's behavior wasn't limited to dogs, either. He displayed an uncanny understanding of people, bringing them gifts of found objects like driftwood and even a styrofoam float, as if he wanted to share his treasures with his human friends. 